Well, good morning. Uh, John here, back again to uh, talk about the tribe of G and uh, what's going on. So even though the surveyor uh, and I told the shipyard guys in Texas that the helm was leaking, they said it was fine. And as I mentioned earlier, as soon as I started running the boat in Apalachicola, hydraulic fluid started um, running down. It wasn't pouring, but it was distinctly running down the panel just under the helm. Oh well. So I was able to find a uh, capable guy, a mobile marine mechanic called Martin Marine, and his, his name is, that's not his real name, but anyway, he seems very capable, uh, from Carabelle to come down to Apple at you and take a look. So he looked at the pump and he said, he called me up and he said, it's made in Italy, of all things, uh, but he works with a company down in uh, Tampa that rebuilds helm pumps. So he took it off and sent it down there. Ah and is going to have it reinstalled, uh, should be reinstalled this week, because it was about two weeks ago when he took it off. I'm also having fuel starvation issues, and uh, when the RPMs get above 2,500 or so, uh, the engine bogs down, and it's but it's perfectly happy running at about 2,000 or 2,200. But uh, it should max out around 3,300 uh, for this particular engine, but I haven't been able to get it up there yet to see. Uh, I'm hoping it's just a filter issue. Uh, the previous owner said he had installed a 2 micron element. Excuse me, that's my dog. She's a terrier. And the recycling guys are out there, so she has to bark at them, even though they come every week. But anyway, um, no camera adjustment there. Hopefully I didn't everything messed up. Uh, the previous owner had said he installed 2 micron um, Raycor filter elements in the big primary filter, which is mounted on the back of the house. Easy to get at. Uh, so I'm hoping that that's the problem, that if I install the recommended 10 micron filters there, um, it'll, the, the fuel will flow. Uh, there's a 2 micron on the, on the engine, the secondary filter, I guess you'd call that. Maybe that's the primary. Um, but anyway, um, time will tell. The fuel that's in the tanks, they're both about half full according to the gauges, which, you know, who knows what that means. Uh, may have been in there a long time. I don't think the previous owner ran it much, so the fuel could be pretty well... Uh, contaminated with bacterial growth, etc. So, uh, I don't know. I thought about dumping some biocide in there, which I've got, but then I thought, boy, if I kill all those bugs at once, I could have a real fuel problem So, um, with all those dead bacteria clogging up my filters. But anyway, uh, Mark Marine's going to give a, give a diagnosis uh, of the problem when it gets the helm installed. Hopefully, um, it's just filters. Uh, if it's not, I'll probably have to get a company out of Panama City or somewhere to come down and polish the fuel which is and clean the tanks as they pump it out and pump it through real fine filters to get all that junk out of it. But we'll see. Uh, the engine, just uh, for a point of order, is a Yanmar 6LYA-UTE rated for 315 horsepower. Um, another problem is the depth finder on the GPS map uh, 4210, which is a, an older um, GPS map system, which they don't make anymore, of course, Garmin. Um, the depth finder is not working. I'm hoping it's just a wire unhooked from the uh, transducer. It was working intermittently during the sea trial, uh, and I still can't figure out why I didn't get it fixed when it was down at Texas. The people uh, who did the engine work also do electronic stuff, and why I didn't just have them go ahead and, and fix that thing is, I don't know, it's crazy, I guess. But uh, anyway, hopefully I can get that fixed. Um, and I hope to go down soon to install my new Rockna 15 kilogram anchor. Hopefully it'll fit on the bow roller. I, th I think it will. It's big, and it's a type of anchor that um, um, if it if the tide changes, it doesn't pull out. So uh, you can Google Rockna if you want to look at one. But uh, anyway, uh, right now I'm trying to figure out um, some good navigation systems. I think I'll have to buy a new Garmin Blue Chart Vision update card for the uh, 4210 that's in there I think they're around a hundred bucks they may be more I don't know uh, I'm using Aquamap on my iPad uh, as well as iSailor and I'm looking at open C CPN which is nice it's free and it's nice getting the it downloads the NOAA charts but in the the ENC raster no vector chart mode um, there's a lot of detail as far as names and things like that that are not on there so I really like it but it, it isn't doing 
what I need to be comfortable. I do like Aquamap. I just started messing with it yesterday. I've got it on my iPad as well as on a little uh, laptop computer I'm going to take with me. So what I'm probably going to do is use the GPS map as well as uh, Aquamap on my iPad as dual navigational systems um, since you can download the charts um, at no cost uh, at this point with Aquamap. So that's pretty nice. But we'll see how it works out. And one of the things that I really love is that Aquamap supports Active Captain, which is a thing that um, people, um, what's my ham radio, sorry, that people who are cruising and are Active Captain members can put on marks or missing charts or missing markers and good marinas and all that kind of stuff. So I, I really like Active Captain, Captain, but Garmin bought it. So um, there's no telling how, you know, if they're going to continue to allow other people to have access to it. I'm guessing if I know Garmin, they're going to find a way to charge a small fortune to access it, and it may only be able to access it through Garmin instruments. I don't know. I like Garmin, but boy, oh boy, they are money grubbers. So anyway, uh, that's the latest update here at uh, December the 6th on the Tribe of G and preparation for travel on the Great Loop. So we will see you later with a further report. Have a good day.